That's going. Okay. Today I'm here in uh, Pendell, Pennsylvania with uh, Dr. Jeff Goldstein, who's been using the T-Scan, the EMG, and performing DTR therapy since 2014. And um, I uh, have asked him to uh, give us his perspective on, after using these technologies and treating patients for a number of years, how he it has impacted his practice, his patients, and um, his overall success rate in uh, performing TMD treatment. Thank you, Bob. Yeah, it's going. Okay. All right. I, uh, as Bob said, I got this uh, technology back in 2014. Uh, spent oh, several courses getting trained up on how to interpret and use the equipment, and uh, I have had great success with it. My patients that uh, have come to me for treatment of migraines, treatment of TMD, uh, they've all seen resolution uh, of their problems uh, at least to a 50 to 70 percent uh, degree. They are thrilled with that. Um, they just think that I'm a hero and I love this technology. If you really want to know what's going on in the bite, and you've learned why the bite can cause migraines or TMD, uh, the only way you're going to know what's going on with the bite is the T-scan and the EMGs. And uh, you know, without this technology, you're just guessing. Uh, I have had plenty of patients come from TMJ, uh, so-called experts, who have done all kinds of therapies on these patients and gotten zero results or made them worse. And they come to me. We throw away their, uh, their TMD splint, and then just directly in the mouth, rearrange the forces so that they have rapid disclusion of the posterior teeth and eccentric movements, and they have a balanced bite, and bingo, they, they feel better. Uh, if there was ever anything that brought home to me how the bite influences the muscles around the head, neck, and shoulders, it was... Uh, Dr. Kirstein, as well as the uh, technology of the T-scan and the EMGs. You had uh, in-office training. Oh, yes. So what was that experience like in terms of raising your uh, skill level? The in-office training was essential. Uh, I really, you know, I was treating people before that, but I was taking forever at each appointment to accomplish what I was trying to accomplish. Uh, when I brought Dr. Kirstein into the office and we worked together on a few patients, uh, it became rapidly apparent to me that I was not doing it efficiently and how the efficiency uh, is determined by how you approach the problem. It's even determined by the coarseness of the diamond burrs that you use. So, uh, you know, the in-office training that was invaluable. I mean, I, I would no, nowhere near be as good as, at this as I am now without that. And I think that's probably true for the T-scan interpretation as T -scan well. T-scan interpretation as well. EMG interpretation. Mm -hmm. right. Absolutely. A lot of doctors um, don't realize that taking a didactic course, for example, and showing slides is very different. Oh, it's very different from treating the actual patient. Right. Yeah. In your practice, in your chair, with your staff, and when you've made the changes in the patient and then you rescan them uh, and see the difference in the scans uh, and you have Bob there to show anything that you might have missed, uh, that's what actually makes you an expert at doing the scans and the treatment and, uh, and shortens the amount of time that it takes you to do it. So what would you say your success rate is with DTR therapy and your patient's responses? My success rate has been 100%. Uh, do you get total resolution of the problem? Uh, a lot of that has to do with what did the patient do prior to seeing you and how long have they been having the problem? Uh, you get something called muscle scarring and if the muscle fibers have scarred, uh, they're never going to recover. So if it's been a very long-term uh, problem for them, I have one patient, it was 40 years, uh, the best I got for her was a 70% resolution. But it took her from being a, uh, a hermit inside her bedroom with the lights off and the curtains drawn uh, every single day. It took her to the point that she's got her own, uh, her own job back again. She's with her family again. She's able to make 
reservations for dinner with her family and friends, uh, able to go to parties. Uh, she's tickled pink, even though she's only 70% better. But 70% better of a life that's hell uh, really is a tremendous uh, advantage for the patient. Um, I've had patients where single treatment and I've gotten them 100% better. And you know those are the, the magic miracles. They don't happen very often, but when they do, it's wonderful. And uh, you know these people think that you're a hero, and I like being a hero. So what has uh, having these technologies done for your practice and, and, your, uh, and your sense of self? Well, my practice has grown for 30 years, and I really, every, every year that went by, I thought, okay, I've got this down perfectly. Uh, but it took until 2014 to realize that what I didn't have down was occlusion. And, uh, and that's what I learned from uh, Bob Kirstein and using the T-scan and the EMGs. Uh, I mean, this is usable for more than just DTR. Uh, I've had patients come to me from other dentists who placed a filling and the patient says that, you know, they, they've been back to that dentist several times to have the filling adjusted, but they're horribly cold sensitive and their bite doesn't feel right anymore. Uh, and, you know, the reason is that the other guy didn't have the T-scan. He couldn't see what force was being applied where and when. Uh, with the T-scan, I will take these patients, have them bite down on the, on the uh, sensor, and then I will just look for, okay, where is it overloading? And I will go and I will adjust that spot. I'll keep using the T-scan until I've got that all taken care of. And uh, sometimes it's also the excursions that you have to look at when, on these things. And you know, once I get it all adjusted where everything's working normally again, uh, the cold sensitivity is gone immediately. I, you can give them ice cold water right there in the chair and they can rinse with it and it won't bother them. Well, anything else you'd like to add for a dentist who might be thinking they should get involved with the T-scan, learn about the, um, the DTR treatment, or just the T-scan for their office? Anything you think a potential dentist who's weighing it should know? You know, a lot of different things have come down the pipe over 30 years. I mean, implants tremendously improved since 30 years ago. Uh, I've got a CEREC, which allows me to, uh, to manufacture crowns and onlays and inlays while the patient waits so there's no second appointment. Uh, all these things the patients love. But when you bring in the T-scan, all of a sudden, you've got patients that love you, you love you, and your staff brags about you to people. And it brings you in a lot of patients. And it's really nice. It's a nice income, but at the same time, it's such an ego builder. Uh, I've never felt better about dentistry than after I got the T-scan and the EMG. Why do you think that is? Why do you feel that way? Uh, because the one thing that we have always had trouble understanding and controlling was the forces of the bite because we had nothing that told us real time what's happening as teeth come into contact and function. Uh, the T-scan and the EMGs make it obvious what's going on. And if it's obvious, you know, and you know what should be happening, it's a simple matter to get in there and reshape a filling, a crown, or even the tooth so that the bite is correct and does not cause symptoms. And that's, that's like a, a game changer for us. How many of us have put a crown in or a filling and the patient keeps coming back for bite adjustments and you don't know why? And you can't tell from articulating paper. T-Scan will tell you. Well, that's true. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for that. I appreciate it very much. And uh, uh, I uh, am grateful for your many years of using the technologies and for what it's meant to you it means a lot to me because you've taken it really seriously and tried to learn as much as you can and you're now helping or have been for the last few years helping a lot of people that you weren't able to help in the past so thank you